Hello everybody, this is Spox, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 1 of Lectures in Lab Coats, which is a small showcase side series I'll be running alongside my LP. Uh, and today I'd like to show you something I've been building in the new snapshot. I'm currently running in 13-week uh, 01B, which is the second released snapshot for 1.5, and this is a variable timer, and I believe it's probably the smallest timer uh, that can do up to three and a half minutes um, without sort of needing resetting or anything. I mean, you have sort of dispenser timers that can do five minutes, but this uses the new hopper system and runs items through the hopper and the minecart and just loops it round. There's a detector at the bottom which um, can be variably set to trigger an output uh, at different loop times. So, uh, yeah, basically items go out of the minecart into the hopper and once the hopper is full enough it uh, triggers this output here which pushes out the piston and pushes the minecart onto these tracks similarly once the minecart is in this position the hopper will put the items back in and as soon as the hopper reaches something like um, 20 blocks I think it is Yep, 20 blocks. Uh, it will loop back round. Uh, and each way round it can put a pulse through the output. Uh, you can actually halve it though by removing this repeater. That way it'll only output every uh, every full loop rather than every half loop. Uh, so this, this timer can run anything between 2 seconds and 3 minutes 30 seconds. It's incredibly versatile and it's only 5 by 7 by 3. Uh, if you exclude the levers and the little half slabs I've used for the signs. Basically, um, the main thing for changing the timings is this comparator here. It takes a signal out of the hopper, and depending on how full the hopper is, a higher output will be pushed through, and compares it to a redstone signal coming from along, he whoop, from along here. So at its fastest, you can turn on the furthest lever, and it will be running every two seconds or so. There we go. If you remove that repeater, it would go every well, still two seconds or so. Uh, I've got it written down somewhere, the exact timing. In fact, I will be including uh, a timing sheet for this, uh, telling you what time you get from each of these levers. Uh, other ways you can adjust this is you can fill it with something else. So, for instance, if you replace these with something that only stacks in 16s, you can get very different timings from it, so snowballs, for example. If you have something that doesn't stack, like a spade or a bed, then you can get much faster timings. Uh, yeah, so I'll be including a schematic for this in the, in the uh, video description, and I will also be uh, including a world download for this world, and, uh, as I said, a timing sheet. So, this is pretty versatile. You can turn it off as well by powering this lever here, which will leave it off, and it'll start running again as soon as that's powered. Um, there we go. Um, it's a bit odd with the, with the powering it off. There may be a better way of doing it. Uh, yeah, but what's really nice about this is, because the items are never sort of on the ground or anything, they'll never despawn, so this is a sort of a standalone timer, it's never going to need uh, updating or refilling, and uh, it could be used multiple times by the same circuit by powering it from different points along this redstone line. You could actually use it for more than one timer. So, say you had a sugarcane farm that needed a one minute timer, uh, to push items through with water streams, and then you also needed a three minute timer while you waited for the sugar cane to grow, you could call the timer, as it were, from the circuit from two different points. So yeah, uh, I think that's everything I have to say on this timer. I'd love to hear what people think about it. I'm sure there's ways to improve it. This is about the fifth version I've done, uh, but I'm sure there's ways of making this uh, more impressive, and I'd love to hear what people think. Uh, so on that note, I wish you all goodbye.